notice the quality of your breath right now, whether it feels slow and steady, or maybe it feels maybe a little shorter or shallow. Maybe the heart rate feels fast. Just observing, not judging in any way, whether it's right or better or worse, just noticing. And then for the next six breaths, just allow for an even breath. You don't even need to do the samabriti if you wouldn't uh, like to. You can just let it be a natural breath and slowly bring your heart rate down if it's fast. Or if you find that maybe the breath is so full and you feel almost more sluggish um, rather than feeling grounded and centered, what you can do is actually switch the breath. So if say your heart rate is fast and you want to slow your heart down, you want to come into a deeper full of breath, then what you want to do is actually lengthen your exhale. If though, again, you start to feel this sort of fatigue, it's Sunday evening, you're feeling tired, but you want to be here, which is wonderful, then just think instead of creating more of a longer inhale and a shorter exhale. And you will notice in six breaths the difference. Otherwise, if you just feel a nice sense of ease, then you can again let the breath be even and steady or with some ability that's just going to allow you to come into that even breath where it's really a very beautiful neutral state. So determine for yourself what's going to serve you in this moment and then choose that. And then one more breath here. And then bring your hands together at your heart center. Take a moment to take a deep inhale through the nose, a long exhale out the mouth. And then from here, we're going to come into our child's pose. So have your knees wide. If you'd like, of course, you can use a bolster. You can place it in front of you and you can just let your torso drape over, bringing your right or your left cheek onto the mat or the bolster. If you prefer, of course, you can just either come into it this way, allowing the torso to be a little ways away from your mat, and then just letting your forehead relax. Or of course, you can come all the way down. The one nice thing about using the bolster is that sometimes in child's pose, especially when you get your torso all the way down and you bring your head, there can be this feeling of not having space. So even though there's this feeling of surrender and release and ease, I do find that it can also feel really nice, this, which is relaxing, but again, gives the, the face a lot of space and the breath a lot of space for just breathing and lets the shoulders drop in slightly. So choose as always, what's going to feel best in your body right now. And then whatever that is, just allowing yourself to be here for eight breaths. So with each exhale, feel yourself soften a little more. And if you notice that your low back is tight, try to pull your heels slightly away from each other.
And then when you do come to your eighth one, slowly guide yourself up. And if you have a blanket or a prop behind you from your seated position, just move it off to the side. And now you can take your bolster, bring it behind you, and then just come to sit up on the bolster here. And then if you have either another bolster or you can use a cushion or you can fold up your blanket to the height of a bolster. And then in this position, you're gonna to start to come down. So you're gonna be here in your Supta Varasana. And if this doesn't feel comfortable, if it feels a little too deep for you to keep the knees down on the floor, then just adjust to where it is going to feel good in your body. And then we're gonna be here for eight breaths. Try to keep the hips drawn up in this position. Try to bring the shoulder blades still towards each other so that the shoulders just drape over the bolster as opposed to this feeling of tightening in in the chest. And you'll likely notice with each breath, it will become naturally deeper. So just continue to stay as you are. Becoming observant of where there's any tightness and tension, but always using the exhale to release that. So as you feel a physical release, notice where you may be clenching in the body. And then when you come to the eighth one, just make your way gently up. And as you make your way up, you're gonna come off of your bolster, move it to the side, and then just take your right leg, draw it back behind you. And think about just bringing your heel towards either your mat or towards the wall behind you. And then just simply bring your knee back down and we'll do the same thing. Just start to pull your heel towards your mat, towards your wall. Good. And then bring your knee down. Now we're just going to step the right foot forward. Take the left knee slightly back and we're going to come into Anjaniyasana. So in your Anjaniyasana, just interlace your fingers here though. So rather than having the arms lifted, Toes can be tucked or untucked. Let the shoulders relax and lift the heart. And we'll be here for eight breaths. So with each exhale, feel this sinking closer towards the mat. Lifting the heart just a little higher, keeping the shoulders relaxed and down. Good. Now, when you come to your eighth, just pull the hip back. From this place, we're going to take now the right knee, draw it down, bring the left, and come into now our cow face pose. So, bring the right arm up, take the right hand down, bring your left fingers towards or to meet, and you can either stay upright or you can take one of your blankets or even a cushion again. The bolster you can do, but it'll likely be a little high. And you can use, instead of folding it all the way, just having that little bit of additional height and softness. And then breathing here. Try to keep both of your sit bones rooted down onto your mat. Just watch they don't start to lift away. And again, just feel a nice sense of release. Release in the shoulder, release in the jaw, release in the hip. Good. 
And then when you come to your eight, just slowly bring yourself up. Release, bring your hands behind you. Bring your feet onto your mat. And we're gonna come now into our double pigeon here. So you can either remain upright this way, just pulling your heart towards your leg, drawing your knee slightly away, or you can guide your left foot over to the right side of your mat. And here you can take a blanket again and just to whatever height you need, and then just slide your ankle and be in this position. If you'd like, you can also bring your bolsters, take the one and the other, and you can fold in this way or this way. And then just relax again into it. Even when you can go into the full depth or expression of an asana without the support of the props, the beauty of having, of course, the props is that we really get to, again, just soften into it. Rather than trying to hold a position and feel the stretch, is really to allow for this, this softening. It's just so important because we're so used to you know, driving ourselves to achieve things to come into particular positions, either in the body or just in positions in life or whatever that may be. And this is really an opportunity in the end to release that need to achieve anything and instead just let ourselves be and become aware, to be the observer of what's happening in our body and then really surrendering to that. And then once you come to your eight, just slowly make your way up. You can move your props off to the side. And then from here, bring both of your feet to the edge of your mat. Just windshield wiper from side to side here. And then cross your ankles, come forward onto your hands and your knees. And then from this place, we're gonna do the same thing. So we're just gonna step the left foot forward bring the right knee back, interlace the fingers, let the hips start to drop the quad towards the mat, and then lifting the heart and breathing here. And then use your eighth breath to slowly draw back. And again, you're just gonna scoot your leg over. So it's gonna be your right leg's gonna draw back. And then you're gonna take your left, guide your left leg over. And if you did so on the other side, you can again take your blanket and just place it in front of you. Left arm's gonna draw up, left hand's coming down, and then bringing the fingers towards each other or to touch. And then staying upright or beginning to just fold in. And then use your inhale to bring yourself back up, release your arms. And then from here, we'll do the same. So taking now your left leg, draw your ankle, guide your leg over to the side. And then you can take again your blanket and maybe that feels more comfortable for you, maybe without. Bringing again your props closer to you if you'd like or need. 
or taking the blanket, placing it in front of you, and sliding it. And slowly bring again yourself up. Just move your props off to the side. And then once more, bring your feet to the edge, just windshield wiper from side to side. And then scoot yourself up your mat and come down onto your back. Now, if you'd like, you can take your blanket just behind you so that you can use it for your head. And you're gonna move your other prop away, cross your right leg over top, and then just wrap your toes around if you feel that that is comfortable and available to you. Now you can place a prop on your left side. If you'd like your knees to rest on it, you're gonna let your knees fall over to the left and then just roll your head to the right and breathing. Wonderful. Use your next inhale to come back to center. Unravel your legs. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Take your hands to both knees and just make little circles here. First going in one direction four times and then changing and going in the opposite. Good, and then bring your knees back in towards, cross now the left leg over, wrap your toes if you feel that that's accessible. And again, if you'd like, and you have your bolster to the other side, just scooch it over, then you can let your knees fall onto the bolster and rolling your head, or you can do without, just as always, choose what's gonna feel nice. Try to make them the same though on both sides. So if you didn't use it on the other side, just try to avoid using it on this side. Good, and then when you come to your eighth breath, just come back to center. Again, unravel, bring your knees in towards your chest, and then just bring your legs up. So we're gonna do a legs up the wall here. Have your hands resting beside you. Close your eyes. And settle here, eight breaths. Wonderful. Now just bend your knees, 
Draw them in towards your chest. Come over onto your right side. Take your right arm and slide it behind you. So you're just gonna get a stretch here for your shoulder. And then from this position, just ensure that your arm is only at the height of your shoulder at its highest point. And then you can just slide your left hand underneath. Keep drawing the left shoulder back and breathe here. And then when you come to your eighth breath, just gently press yourself up. Come over onto your back. Interlace your fingers and just reach your arms up. Draw your arms overhead. Reach out through your palms. Bring your arms back. And then from here, we'll come over onto the other side. So just now guide yourself over onto your left. Take your arm, draw it back behind. And then bring again your arm, just slide it underneath and roll your shoulder back. Two more breaths here. And then again, you just press yourself gently up. And this time though, once you come onto your back, you can move your props off to the side. Bring your legs in towards you. Try to hug in as tight as you can. And then just gently rock yourself up. Now, once you rock yourself up, we're going to take the bolster and bring it along the spine and take the other bolster and draw it underneath our knees. And then from this place, just come down onto your back. Let your shoulders relax. You can have your palms facing up. If you prefer, you can have your hands just resting over top of your belly. And again, we're gonna be here for eight breaths. So just feel that softening. Once more, let any tension in the jaw, any tension in the forehead be released. And then from here, begin to, again, make your way up. You're going to keep this underneath your legs. You can, again, take your blanket. And then just fold the blanket again to whatever height you like. And then just drape over the legs. So really just let the whole upper body feel weighted. So not as a hamstring stretch to lengthen the muscles, but just to allow for this opening in the back.
Okay, now use the inhale on the eighth breath to guide yourself up. You can move your prop off to the side now. And then depending on how you would like to come into your Shavasana, you can again bring either your pillow and just let it be behind you to let your head rest. If you do want to use one of the other props, then of course do. Otherwise, bring yourself down. Take up as much space as you'd like and you have available to you. Try to have your palms facing up as opposed to down in your Shavasana. And then feel your whole body just again soften and relax. And you can begin at the crown of your head. Do a gentle scan over noticing if there's any tension still held in your forehead, any tension still in the jaw. You can move the jaw from side to side. Notice where your tongue is placed in your mouth or you're pressing your tongue against the back of your teeth. You can just let the tongue relax. Feel your shoulders as heavy and weighted, almost as though you had those exercise weights or those little bean bags, just feel the weight. And then soften the shoulders, move down along your torso, any tension that you're noticing, perhaps in the low back, just let that relax. The same as your glutes, you can feel whether you're clenching, you just release. Feel the weight of gravity, feel your body is supported by the earth beneath you. Feel your legs as loose, the muscles completely relaxed. From your quads, to your thighs, to your calves, to your ankles, to your feet. And then take a deep inhale through your nose. And a long exhale out your mouth. And allow yourself to be here in your Shavasana for as long as your time allows.